Hey, it's me, Randy, with Blown Budget Garage. Today, we're pulling the engine, something I've been talking about since episode one. Whatever, things happen, but today is the day. Usually, I like to go ahead and tell y'all everything I wanna to try to get done in the episode. There's just so much work to get done. The day is already half gone, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on it. The first thing is getting our Harbor Freight engine stand put together. My buddy's on his way with the tractor, so I got a couple motor mounts, and you know what? I said I wasn't gonna do that, so I'm not gonna do it. Anyways, let's get to work. Catch you in a bit. Ta-da, I made that from scratch. All right, so here's what we got going on. Where are we at? That motor mount right there needs to come out. And this motor mount right here, that's coming out. And then, um, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this guy because I'm not putting air conditioning back in the car, uh, just for clearance purposes. And then we got a few bolts back here to remove. So I'm gonna get my tools and, oh yeah, so there you can see the oil that I had coated everything with last night just for make me feel better. But anyways, this is about to come up and then it's going to go on to my custom, didn't buy it, that sticker I made to, uh, engine stand. And then we're going to pick that whole thing up with the tractor and it's gonna go to the old shop right back there. Now, if you see, you're wondering, well, you have a tractor. Well, that's a baby tractor and it doesn't have a loader. All it has is a rear hay spear. I'm sure I could probably could have bought something, but my buddy's tractor is already bought and paid for. So anyways, let's get to work. Well guys, there you have it. That's how you pull a 318 with a tractor when all you have to work in is a shed. You know, probably not the most uh, popular way, the most efficient way, or I guess some could even say the safest way to do it, but the engine, it's in the shed, which means I can now work on it and get it rebuilt. So now, even if the weather is not great and I can't work on the car outside, I have plenty to do inside. Now, granted, I could probably get all this done in a day. Uh, and who knows, that, that might be what I do once I get parts and uh, everything in for it. Um, originally, I was going to replace the cam, as y'all know, but, you know, if I can use what's in it now just to get it running and make sure that everything you know is copacetic, then 
I think that's what I'm going to do because, hey, listen, Power Tour is in June, right? And that gives me, what, four months? Four months to get the car running, driving, stopping, working like it's supposed to. The outside might look like a basket case, but the drivetrain, the suspension, the steering, the brakes, everything else will all be brand new. So I will 100% take my hoopty looking uh, 73 Dart to Power Tour if I can. At least one stop, uh, which would probably be, well, I know they stopped, one of the stops this year is in St. Louis, right? So yeah, so maybe maybe y'all will see me in St. Louis for anyone who goes to Power Tour. Um, we'll see. But anyways, I'm super excited. I'm going to go ahead and continue tearing this apart. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Well, guys, just a quick update. I got the engine turned over upside down so I could take the oil pan off. And when I did, nothing but just water came out. So... That's not good, but let's get that guy right there off so we can see what it looks like. And I guess we'll go from there. Be right back. Well, it's not in as bad a shape as I was expecting, to be honest. Um, you know, all these cylinders are marked or sorry, cylinders, all these pistons um, are marked both on the piston head um, and on the cap here. So, you know, I think, I think at some point in time, this engine was in fact touched obviously, but, um, I was expecting all this to just be completely rusted out. And, you know, there's a, uh, you know, that looks like rust, but if I go like that and take my finger, it's just, uh, it's just grime, but yeah. So I'm gonna get this oil pump right here off and I don't have a, a pulley pull or anything. So um, oh yeah, she's leaning. So if you're gonna use one of these, oh, Harbor Freight, giving yourself a Harbor Fright, uh, because this engine is just leaning like crazy, but uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, go ahead and brace it with something, be safe. Anyways, I'm gonna get off what I can, which at this point isn't gonna be too much more, uh, the motor mounts and, and that oil pump, but yeah, looking good, I guess, whatever. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you what we got here. Um, realistically speaking, if I think if this engine set any longer, months, maybe, maybe it would have had a few more months left in it, I think the engine would have been ruined. But I want to show you all what I found. I took off every uh, main bearing cap and they're all brand new every single thing is brand new um even the journals look like they've never been turned over i mean here's what we got it's a little it's brand new like there's there's no there's no nothing on it and then let me see look at that it's nothing not a single scratch heat mark nothing so, and then I was looking at the bottom of the pistons, and these are definitely not stock pistons. Obviously, they're not because, you know, they're 20 thou over, but they, they appear to be, they appear to be pretty darn good. The connecting rods, I'm going to measure them um, because they seem a little bit longer. I, I thought, I thought that, I mean, this thing almost sits uh, dead flush when it's at top dead center. Uh, like it's damn near zero decked. So, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, if I am, I am. I, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm pretty happy with what I got. I mean, I don't have to buy main bearings now. Basically, I can just take all of this apart. I'm gonna take er all of this, everything you see here, uh, everything's gonna come out, the crank's gonna come out, cam's gonna come out. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna install it with some uh, a new assembly lube. And I'm gonna treat it like, obviously, like it's a, a brand new engine build. So it's going to get the new oil pump. It's going to get, if it needs something new, it's going to get it. But right now, guys, I mean, looking at how everything looks, I'm reusing the crank. I'm reusing the cam. Um, the, I was looking at the timing chain. The timing chain looks brand new. So, you know, there's not even like a lick of dirt on it. So anyways, just want to give you a quick heads up on what's going on. Um, I think next weekend I'll get, I'll go buy a, uh, 
uh, a pulley puller so I can uh, get that old girl off and then we'll take the crank out and then after that we'll get the pistons out and we'll get the cam out and and yeah then we'll start cleaning this engine up and we'll get it painted and it's going to be it's going to be looking it's going to be looking right like it was supposed to because uh, there was some money put into this that's for sure so looks like uh, I got lucky on this one and it looks like uh, the guy who who sold it to me um, sold me uh, an engine that um, is gonna is gonna it's gonna be a hot little engine you know maybe with 20 thou over and the heads and you know with the good uh depending on what kind of cam that is i mean if i have to i'll swap it but you know i don't think 250 260 maybe maybe 270 horse isn't to be expected considering i'm putting headers and everything on here so anyways here she is uh, i think that's gonna go ahead and, and i'm gonna call it on this video kind of a short video but you know we got a lot done so i'm happy with that so anyways I hope you all have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you who watch my videos. Um, I wouldn't keep doing it if, if I wasn't getting uh, the views that I'm getting. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. And, uh, and I'll see you all soon. Have a good week.